intentionally trying to have a child before marriage it's not normal you must not repeat clothes you must have an iphone who set this standard <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about the standards that social media has set for us that they have normalized and they are not normal social media is good a lot of us have made money through social media we have made friends we have made so many things but it's not everything on social media that is good so today i'm going to be talking about the standard that social media has set for many people and it's not normal let's go number one is using an iphone is now is now the standard for being rich and especially not just using an iphone using the latest iphone and you don't know that these people are doing their marketing and we are falling into their trap you know it's good to help their business but if there is no reason for you to change your phone do not allow social media to pressurize you into changing your phone or into the fact that you must use an iphone you mustn't use an iphone there are other good phones so don't go overboard in order for you to use an iphone i for one i got my iphone because of my youtube channel because i want to talk to you people because i want to start content creating but if you're not doing content creating if you're not using it for business and because i have a perfume business that i use it to snap if you're not why are you pressuring yourself to have it there's a reason why a lot of these people are having it so if you do not have a reason to use an iphone don't go for it you can use a normal phone except you can afford it if you can afford it and it's what you want then you can buy it but if you cannot and you do not have a reason to use it please my dear don't go for it number two i know this number two you guys are going to bash me yeah i might be sounding old school it's online dating it's not a normalized thing that people no longer meet themselves in real life people go online just to meet people and date people yeah it's good a lot of people have gotten married through online a lot of people have met so many good people online but there's also a disadvantage it is not normal like it's not a normalized place to meet people especially for dating Okay, you've seen this person online. It's everything that the person portrays to you that you're going to believe. You don't even know if this person is lying to you. You don't know if the person is married. You don't know if the person is um, having a, a serious relationship. You just go for it. Especially, ah, they are brought the light. In my place, they say if you are talking and they bring like you are saying the truth. It means I'm saying the truth. So let's go into the video. And especially, guys, hold on, let me on the light. The bulb. <laughs> Hey guys now i'm back and the worst thing that happens is that you travel all the way to a different state to meet a stranger that's the reason why a lot of people are now being kidnapped a lot of people are entering into problem because of this online dating you are going to meet someone that you don't know anything about the person if you are a lady please set that standard let the person come and meet you let that person come and meet you if you want to if you people are planning to meet yourself don't sacrifice yourself because of a relationship someone like me i can never do online this i will not i'll tell you the reason one of these days i'll tell you my experience that was in 2010 and after then that was 2010 to 2011 after then still date no online dates. i have to see you maybe that's why i'm still single who knows <laughs> Number three standard that social media have set for you is that you have to achieve everything in life before 30. My dears, where are you rushing to? You have, the Bible has set in Psalm 91 for you to reach that age, 91 years. You want to achieve everything before the age of 30. What do you want to do with the rest of your years? They have set standard that you must have a house, you have a car, you have your life all figured out, and people who their life are not yet figured out, before 30 they now feel pressurized you have to be on vacation you have to wear the latest designers clothes you have to people at age 17 they are already driving the latest car they are already having i mean if god has blessed you no issue we thank god for that because god has a different timing to bless everybody but then don't be pressurized that your life has to be figured out before the age of 20 30 because your mates have it all figured out because your mate at 17 has a car 
has a house every day they are announcing i bought a house they are announcing i bought a car and then you normalize it chill chill my dear you don't know what they are doing to get all these things you don't know the life behind all these things you don't know what they have done to get all these things don't pressure yourself to achieve everything at a young age you still have life except if you want to you know go young but if you intend to live long be patient everything will work in place for you number four another thing that social media has normalized is having a child before marriage i know if mistake happen praise the lord but then intentionally trying to have a child before marriage it's not normal god has created us that a man and a woman shall live together and become one forever one body forever and that was why he blessed mary with a child after mary was married to joseph so now how then do you want to change the theory and normalize it I know that you guys are going to batch me, but it's not normal. Social media has normalized it that people say, oh, if my life is not going like this, I'm going to go and have a baby. It's not normal. You people should not make this standard or normalize it. It's not normal for you to have a child before marriage. If a mistake happens, praise the Lord, don't take the child away. Account for the child. But if it's not and you're intentionally trying to do it, please stop it. Number five that social media of course is that everything has to be perfect you go on social media everything is glamorized people are spending money people life is just perfect a lot of people don't show what happens to them behind closed door life is not perfect for anybody that person that you are thinking that the person's life is perfect my dear let me tell you he or her life is not perfect all of us are going through a lot if i tell you my a lot eh hmm. But forget all these pictures life is not perfect social media should not make you feel like life is perfect and that money is everywhere for you to pluck life is not perfect even all these content creators that say oh there's money this there's money that there's a lot it's not it might not be actual thing that they are showing you that is giving them money that's actually giving them money number six is likes comments and engagements people now make followers high number of followers now determined how you'll be respected on social media if you don't have high likes high followers high comments then you are being looked down on who told you that there's no life outside social media and a lot of these people with followers who told you that that's the standard of life so you now because you don't have a lot of followers you don't have a lot of engagement on your page you now feel inferior because to people that have engagement a lot of followers who set that standard that followers define you as a human being it does not how are you living your life to please strangers that you don't even know and then because of their own following and likes now determine you and a lot of people now go into depression because of they are not having much likes not much followers and much engagement on their page a lot of you cannot even talk to your friends again because they have a lot of followers and likes and engagement on their page why who set that standard who set it do you know that one of my highest customer on instagram was from someone who had just 10 followers and was following up to 30,000. yes the person bought goods what 200 and something um thousand yeah the person bought those gross goods for me you know and i was surprised like wow with this less followers and all of that so it changed my mindset that it's not about followers it's not about likes it's not about engagement on page don't define people by likes followers and engagement on social media and social media has set yahoo yahoo normalized yahoo yahoo swindling people's money in the name of love and relationship is not normal you are deceptive you are deceiving people please stop it's not normal and a lot of us say it is normal this person is doing so yahoo yahoo then it's normal it's not normal please this is for me and number eight social media has set the standard that your skin has to be glass skin you know if your skin is not smooth you know and all of that you're not an easy girl 
you must use the most expensive skincare product x else you cannot be seen like a big girl who told you so you can use the lowest type of skincare product so far as it works for you and let me tell you no skin is perfect forget a lot of people are using light even me right now i'm using lightening people are using lightening and it will not make their skin to be glowy and shiny and you think that their, their skin is perfect nobody's skin is perfect though some of us people like me my smooth face i think is is um hereditary most of my um relatives my siblings will have smooth face yeah but most and it doesn't mean that i don't have acne i do have i do have if you want to check check my last video you see my face had breakout so people's skin your skin must not be it i mean if you are going through a lot you can go for treatment and visit a dermatologist but if you have set the standards if you're not using CeraVe products if you're not using um dr teals you're not using all these expensive skincare products then you are not that it girl who told you so me i use crusader crusader is a no product i use it for so fast it works for you use it even if it's vaseline that works for you use it it must not have all those things and you mustn't have a skincare routine if your skin is good all you need is sunscreen and even at that all these market women some of them look at all these acaracellas fish cellar that are under the sun do for them some of them don't have um sunscreen but their skin is still puffy just use it because of the uv ray on your skin to prevent cancer but don't be pressurized if you don't have the money number nine social media have set standard for relationship goals that relationship is now transactional you see people say i can't date a broke guy this one will say what do ladies bring to the table it's no more about love but it's about a transactional relationship it's not a standard if you meet someone you love if you meet someone that your heart goes for go with the person don't and i think number 10 social media has normalized luxury luxury shopping luxury vacation designers wear that if you don't have all those things if you're not going on vacation if you're not wearing those designers um, versace gucci all of these designers then you are now like this you see me like this who said that standard they are enslaving themselves to some certain companies you know a lot of all, a lot of your friends are selling products a lot of your friends have clothing and you don't patronize them but you want to have all those designers just to belong to a certain standard that social media has set for people don't pressure yourself life is so young if you don't if you have the money bless be to god you can buy them but if you don't have it my dear you don't have to pressure yourself you don't have to pressure yourself to snap in good backgrounds or aesthetic backgrounds as they have set it you know yeah then number 11 social media set standard that you cannot repeat outfits if you repeat outfits it means you are poor i for one i do that i fell into that of not repeating clothes on my pictures to snap pictures with with the same outfit it's not like looking somehow you know but I discovered that if I have a picture, if I have a clue, and I want to repeat it, I can repeat it. There's no standard for it. It was something that I didn't like myself. Not even because of social media. I didn't like to post a picture of a clue that I've worn before, then wearing it again. It's something I didn't like. You know? And I get clothes that I can afford to be able to post new clothes. That's my own standard. And it's sometimes, are you a cricket? In Nigeria, we call it Pendant Selects. But if you don't have the money, don't follow people to do it. Don't follow that standard that you cannot repeat clothes, breathe, and live life according to life, but not according to a social media standard that they have set for people. Thank you for watching.